evening, dear Kuwait television viewers, and welcome to another new episode of your weekly program, Kuwait in 30 Minutes. The English News and Political Programs Department has prepared a variety of reports that highlight the main events that have recently taken place across Kuwait. Our committed team of reporters is constantly engaged in numerous events with the objective of keeping you, dear viewers, aware of the latest information, regulations and policies. Our aim is to help you obtain information on the latest developments at the local scene. So stay tuned for more coming your way this evening. Dear viewers, thank you once again for joining us with your favorite show, Kuwait in 30 Minutes. In this episode, we have a guest who will speak about the importance of efficient communication in improving information exchange during meetings. Please welcome with me our guest, team builder and facilitator, Buthayna al Asfour. Welcome to the show, Ms. Buthayna. Hi, Hiba, and thank you for the invitation. Thank you. We start this segment with a report prepared by our correspondent Najla al Sadiq about a recent lecture presented by Mrs. Buthayna al Asfour and sponsored by the Youth Association of Kuwait. The presentation titled Smart Meeting was attended by individuals who are interested in learning about the subject. More with our reporter Najla al Sadiq in this report. With another evening at the Youth Association of Kuwait, a symposium for smart meeting took place. Guest speaker Buthayna al Asfour conducted a slide presentation of the subject for the audience, thoroughly explaining the topic. Audience included a number of individuals with active interests in the fields of training and developing skills socially, professionally, and academically. It's going to be an interactive workshop. The goal of the workshop is to introduce people to a different meeting, uh, a different meaning to the meetings. Um, some people have a negative connotation or feelings about meetings when they uh, attend any at work or say for example for voluntary work, uh, for entrepreneurs approaching uh, a new business and they're trying to set up uh, staff meetings. So this is kind of a window uh, and a pathway on how to lead uh, your meetings in a smart way that's interactive but also productive. A meeting consists of any group of people who are gathered together uh, in order to achieve, uh, to achieve a goal or they're trying to uh, come up with a project or a planning. So any group, group of people uh, who are collected together to achieve something. So it could be say for example um, a vice president of uh, a school uh, it could be um, an entrepreneur who's approaching a new job, a new, uh, a new business, a staff meeting, um, teachers, uh, engineers, doctors. So it's kind of um, a collective. Mainly, communication is the main factor of um, meeting success. So we will target communication, effective communication, but in a different way, in a smart way. Uh, not very direct about body language, but more likely uh, about how to lead the actual meeting. I used to come here every Monday nearly so uh, I'm here today to know, um, to know more about meetings because I used uh, to attend such courses about everything nearly administration. I've attended so many training courses about meetings and how to perform it. I used to do this in my work in the past in my life Smart meeting brings a new focal point to a meeting where its success relative to the time consumed in the actual process is maximized through the efficiency of the communication process and improvement of the information exchanged during the meeting can the effectiveness be truly measured. Buthayna al Asfur introduces accessible tools on the web available to the public and other training sessions where valuable information is obtained for a more adequate and smart meeting. Smart Meeting Symposium. 
from the Youth Association of Kuwait in Khaldiya. I'm Najla Sadiq, reporting for Kuwait in 30 minutes. <laughs> Welcome back, dear viewers, uh, with our guest tonight, team builder and facilitator Buthayna Al Asfour. Welcome back to the show. Hi, Hilda. Let's start uh, by uh, letting our audience know uh, in the beginning what is a smart meeting? Uh, smart meeting is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, it's a concept, a new concept uh, into approaching people in meetings. Yes. Uh, whether if it was uh, uh, a corporate meeting or it was uh, uh, a voluntarily uh, meeting. Uh, the concept of a smart meeting is to shift from a traditional and conventional yes. um, setting of any meeting or gathering uh, and to shift it to a, a more interactive way of communicating with people. Yes. Uh, and I kind of combined my communication background and social work together to bring uh, this new concept into uh, the work environment. Yes, so how, how can you measure a success of a meeting, for example? Well, how do you measure a success of a meeting? It's a, it's a very good question. Yes. Um, it depends on your objective. Why did you set of the meeting? Of the meeting. Yes. What? Why did you set the meeting? Mm -hmm. I know some people that they do meetings within the family themselves. You know, if they're trying to discuss um, grade issues right. with their children, so they would gather, um, you know, their child or children, and uh, the parents would sit together and think about of a way of delivering the issue. Yes. So it's not limited to corporate and, uh, and work and environment only. Yes. No, right. it's the concept of how do you deliver information um, for a certain goal and how to do it interactively. And you get the other person who is in the meeting more engaged. Yes. So when you ask the question about how do we measure it, did you achieve your goal from the meeting? Yes. Is it an evaluation meeting, a staff evaluation? Are you introducing, say for example, if it was work related, are you introducing a new member? Are you going about uh, launching a new project or a new film, whatever that purpose was? So I would measure it on the engagement yes. of people with the goal of the meeting. Yes, so this is like, we can say this, this is the key word for the uh, measuring success, exactly. the goal. Did you achieve your goal or not yet? Exactly. Right. So uh, talking about the, the, the corporate or the business meetings, how can the corporate organization apply your methodology? Um, I can say uh, that I'm, I'm proud that I've implemented this um, uh, approach yeah. with, uh, with my team. Uh, in a corporate place for four years and uh, it came out with great outcomes not on the communication level between me and my team but also in terms of building the individuals mm -hmm. within my team and coming out with uh, great outcomes yes. say for example if I used to work uh, in, um, in in the sales department mm -hmm. where I need to achieve those sales targets, targets every month yes. so it was very um, it was very important to get everybody engaged and doing their best to achieve my goal. Yes. But it wasn't enough to work on the, uh, the planning and the marketing and mm -hmm. the sales, um, say, uh, for example, uh, elements, but also on the individuals who are attending the meeting. Okay. Uh, I do encourage the corporate uh, sector to um, uh, be more involved mm -hmm. with people who are in the meeting. Um, I would definitely recommend it for newcomers if you have a new staff and yes. you would like to uh, if you would like them to be um, uh, more engaged in the more engaged uh, organization. In the, yeah exactly just start up with with a meeting with a, with one of those uh, smart meetings mm -hmm. and you will see how it developed yes so to to maintain the their success or to make sure that it will success how often do you encourage these meetings to be held uh, some people ask me uh, it depends the frequency of the meetings is not the measure of success. Okay. It depends on how much uh, or uh, the, the real need of setting the meeting. Okay. Uh, I used to meet with my team once a month to follow up on sales and okay. that was enough for us because I did not have a direct contact with my uh, team members so it was important for me to meet them at least once, once a month just to catch up and to follow up on uh, new things uh, raising in the, um, in the uh, corporation. So the frequency of meetings is not the measure. I would say I would say the outcomes of the initial meeting that I started important. exactly yes. and how effective it was. Yes, you are doing this for uh, the last four years, I guess. 
Yes, I've been I've been uh, um, using this approach for the past four years, and it's been um, very successful. And that's why I was uh, very eager to convey that concept to other people here, yes. and the corporate sector, uh, uh, sector, and other sectors as so well. So this leads me to to the coming question: uh, Do you have any other instructors doing your uh, or trying to apply these concepts? Uh, at the moment, uh, we did a workshop, uh, as shown in the report yes. last uh, past uh, week, and um, I'm not aware that people have adopted the concept itself in smart meetings, but I know that many trainers uh, in Kuwait are um, trying to uh, present information in with more interaction yes. and more engagement, and that's the goal of the whole um, concept of smart meetings. So these smart meetings, are they available in English uh, and Arabic or only English? Well, it's the methodology. It's yeah. how you approach the meeting. Anybody can do it. It's not only, do it. not only me. Anybody can carry on uh, a smart meeting, including yourself. Just you need to know what are the tools to, um, to start a meeting and how to end it uh, in a way and in a direction that will yeah. help you achieve your own goals. Yeah, you mentioned tools. What are these tools? Uh, well, you need to, at the beginning, uh, the, the most essential tool is to be open yes. to communication uh, with, the, with your team members. Mm -hmm. You have to be open and, and uh, give them the opportunity to participate. Participation is very important. You can't have a one side of communication. Of course. It has uh, to be interactive. Yeah. So you have to come up with an open mind because you are going to be the leader of the meeting. Yes. That's the role and the success will depend on you uh, in the first place. Other tools will be um, having an agenda. You can't attend a meeting without having an, an agenda of what you are going to discuss or what's the matter or why, why we are meeting. Okay. And what are the goals of today's meeting? Even if it was something, say for example, um, a very simple. tiny, a simple stuff, yeah. just as an introducing a new member mm -hmm. to the corporation. Yes. It could be that simple. But, but I it's need very important at the same time. Yeah, and to be clear yes. uh, why we are meeting, helping others to, uh, say for example, they could participate with something uh, for the new staff member. Exactly. Um, other tools will be facilitating the meeting in an interactive way. Yes. You can have uh, an opening question mm -hmm. to ha help them brainstorm and think about uh, the topic that you would like to discuss or the issue that you would like to discuss. Uh, games can be involved. Games? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's in interactive games. That's, that's the main goal. Uh, it, it might be... Uh, some people might be reluctant at the beginning yes. when they hear because it's games a new involved. way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once you apply it, and um, once you apply it, you will understand the the outcomes of interaction and how it can help you understand better yes. uh, other members of of the team. Yes. So my last question for today is: uh, Can these sessions be online? Can people make use of these uh, um, tips or uh, advices online? Uh, at the moment, I can say that some of these uh, materials are available. You need to search for it. The materials? Um, uh, I myself, I had to do my own search okay. and look for it. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's an idea of, uh, that I came up with from my own. But as I, as I said, I have my communication background and my social work that driven me to find a way uh, of better communicating yes. uh, with my team. Ms. Buthayna Lasour, uh, we thank you so much for this uh, information, the valuable information for today, for our audience today. Would you like to add anything or uh, give our audience any advice, any other words? Thank you, Hiba, for inviting me. Uh, it's been very interesting and thrilled with this experience. Um, be open to a new concepts. Yes. Uh, look up uh, smart meetings. Uh, try to develop yourself. Uh, and um, there is always, always a space to learn something new. Yes, look up uh, smart meetings m means that uh, they are available online. Uh, you might find the something materials. similar. You yes, might find similar. something similar uh, to the concept, but it's, but it's they the can concept of engagement. Also. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So please, I, I hope our, our audience uh, will listen to these uh, advices today. Ms. Bethany Laswur, thank you once again for the time uh, for uh, being us with us today. And uh, we look forward to have you uh, once again in our studio. Inshallah, it's been a pleasure. It's my pleasure also. Um, dear viewers, we will now continue our second part of our episode tonight of Kuwait in 30 minutes. 
as Al Yarmouk Cultural Center recently hosted a country music band performing American folk. The band was led by a well-known American artist with classical instruments. The Cultural Center witnessed an impressive occupancy of individuals who share the many joys of country music. Reporter Najla Sadiq brings us more in this report. Dar al Athar al Islamiya hosted the very talented and gifted musical artist David Hanners to perform Americana folk in a cozy ambience for its audience. The event featured warmth and deeply enchanting, vibrant storytelling vibes. David Hanners has been awarded the Pulitzer Prize. Terry Paul Rowland, a featured contributor to No Depression, wrote of his song, There are no secrets in this town that it plays out like a musical version of a McMurtry novel. The Minneapolis Star Tribune called him one of the region's most captivating and evocative songwriters. And this is our 23rd season. We have uh, more than 500 events through the season, from starting from end of September till middle of uh, May because of Ramadan, out of which we have about 60.